Hello, Mr. Antonio. This video is going to be on how to take a website live if they are on Wix. So, of course, we got to build the site, get that all ready, get access to their Wix uh, website. And so once you are on their Wix, the easiest way to find their domain is to use their search bar. So they have a search bar on the top right, look up domains, or just try to find it here wherever, whenever you log in. But once you get it, you will see the domain here and you'll go to DNS, manage DNS records. And then what we want to make sure is that there isn't any email set up with this because if there is and we remove the records, then their email is not going to work. But how you know if someone has a MX record or not, you can see it here. So they don't, meaning they're not using their end domain as a email, right? Not like us that we have Caesar at symphonyadvertising.com. They're not using their domain for email. And so... It's not always going to mess it up, but always double, triple, quadruple check because some companies without email, they can't talk to their customers, they can't get contracts, they can't follow up. Very bad for business. Um, so, with uh, uh, because this one isn't as, um, you know, it's not as, as uh, it's not there, so we don't have to worry about it. You go to the WP Engine, you find the, the account, which is this, events and details, you go into the domain. And we, what we want to do is add the domain. So we'll go here. This is the domain. And we're going to add it. And so we're going to add both. Set the primary domain and also add www. So again, there's always two. It's always www and not non-www. But typically my best practices, and I recommend doing as well, is leave www out. So does this domain currently have live traffic? It does. But then they make it a little bit more harder for us to finish uh, taking live. And because, again, it's not super high stakes or uh, high danger, um, it's a little bit later in the day, it's fine. It's, be you know, if it's, a, imagine, you know, if it was Amazon.com, then obviously you got to do it differently. If it's a, a website that gets like thousands of hits every single hour, then you got to, you know, it's different. But because, or for example, if a client is like a low traffic website where, you know, they, they don't really get too much interaction. It's not a big deal. So we're going to put no for now. Invalid domain name. That's interesting. Oh, it has a space. So if there was a space, it causes an error. If there was a space at the end. So it has been invited. So now we need a point DNS, which is what is over here. This is the DNS. And so the, the domain is held by Wix. Sometimes it's held by GoDaddy, sometimes by Square. Google domains is not a thing anymore. So not Google domains. So in this case, it's at Wix, right? So that's where the domain lives or that's where it currently is being held. So this information is going to help us help the domain know where to point to. And so here we're going to hit C name, right? So so right now it's just pointing to Wix, right? And I guess the problem is we got to add like custom servers. Uh, name servers. I'm not actually sure if we add this or if we can change this. Um, um, point Wix domain to another host. Okay, I think we're fine. So sometimes you have to tell it to it's outside of the hosting, but it looks like this one doesn't matter. So the C name is one of the records. C name means the WW version of it. So this is a C name. We're going to edit. Got it. And so we're just going to change this. That's what the value is. It's www.sronjesus.com. One hour. Save. And the website is down now. So that's that part, right? Now we got to add the two, uh, the two A records. We're going to delete one of these. We're going to copy the first one. There's two. Why? I'm not exactly sure. There used to only be one. There's actually many ways you can do this. I'm going to see if we can edit it. So I'm going to edit this one, the first one, which is starts with 141. I'm going to save it. 
I'm going to leave the other settings as they are. And get the second one. The other for one, save it. And there, that is updating the DNS records. It said on this side, hey, update the C name, update the 2A records. This is specifically for Wix. Some are different, right? Some are going to say they're not going to let you add, uh, uh, edit a record. They're going to want you to delete a record. Uh, some are going to say you have to move the server. So um, if it doesn't have, if it doesn't let you add 2A records, it means you have to add both records in one row. Because it, it, it has in its programming or its software, it knows that there's two. This one we had to add two. And then C name is always going to be one. And I actually don't know. I think this... Okay, so this stays like this. So that's it. This is www. This is mandatory. And then this is non-www. And so now next what we're going to do is we're going to... Okay, I've done this. And we're going to have to do some things to uh, WordPress once it is live but it has to propagate. So as you can see, once your DNS has propagated, you'll see the status change on the domain list. You can click refresh status at any point. You still need to match your WordPress URL. So what that means is, um, it means that when you go here, I don't even know if it, it may, it may not work anymore. This is our version of the site. Yeah. So it, it will, it's still going to have the, Website.wtengine.com. We have to log into the. Okay, here it is. Once it's live, propagated, we'll have to go to the settings. I shouldn't be doing this right now. Uh, and we'll have to change this to the domain, which is the one here. I'm not going to do that now, though. I'm going to let it propagate, which means it realizing that it's now pointing to other servers versus the one it was pointing to. So not pointing to Wix, posting, pointing to WP Engine. And so, uh, so it looks like, it looks like this one's already done. SSL, there's an issue. Sometimes you have to assign the SSLs. Sometimes you don't, it used, you know, it used to be a lot more straightforward, but so when you go to SSLs, you, you just click for both. Secure all. I have read. Pretty straightforward. Get SSL certificates. And this usually takes, depending on how quick it propagates, it could be two minutes, it could be 10, it could be 20. It's usually within 20 minutes though. And then uh, we go back here. And again, sometimes, depending on the host, uh, it's super fast. Sometimes it's, it does take four hours. It, it usually says it could be 24 to 48 hours for it to propagate, but most of the time it's much quicker. So if you wanted to check, the best way to check is to do incognito because your browser is going to have the cached version of it. Okay, cool. So it's live, but only on uh, this. For example, if I look up www. I have a feeling it's not going to work. Okay, great. It's working. So that was very fast. So good job, Wix. Uh, although this is still not activated, but that's okay because we're, we're going to fix that shortly. So I'm going to refresh it because I don't want to log into an old version of the site. That's may that's maybe just me being, um, I don't know, kind of weird about it. But I would refresh it because there are instances where you open up a, a website that is older because it doesn't know that it's been refreshed or that things have changed. And so, um, again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna log in, go to settings, general, and we're just gonna update this. We're gonna leave the HTTPS, and we're gonna put Cervantes detail, because in this case, that's their name. And then we're gonna save, and it's gonna kick us out. Why? Because this URL up here has changed. It's no longer the dot wp engine version it's the actual domain name so it kicked this out so now we can check again it does take you know it could be again it could be two minutes it could be five minutes it could be 20 minutes sometimes it can be six hours seven hours but it should work eventually because the, ch the change that has been made 
but it has to tell the world, all the servers everywhere on the planet that, hey, when somebody comes and asks for these resources, make sure it's on this domain. Um, and that's it. So the only thing missing, oh, look at that. Everything's green check mark. Perfect. So it should be working. Try again. It's still doing that, but I think it's fine. It just takes time. Or my incognito browser is uh, is cached as well. So let's try Safari. It's still doing the. It's still redirecting. So I think it's. I, it should be good. There's no reason why. So the primary domain is this. At some point, it'll pick up on that. And that is how you take a Wix domain live on a WP Engine server.